What is up, Magimo here with a quick video. Reddit EDM is currently holding a Hall of Fame voting for their Hall of Fame page. So let's get with Dagan. What songs belong on the EDM Hall of Fame? So here are my top 10 songs that belong on the Reddit EDM page. The first song is gonna be Levels by Vigi. At this point, after his untimely passing, it's fair to say that at the very least, Levels is cemented in dance music history, period. I still remember that summer that the song was just sitting by some random channel upload, and it was like in 360p, just had the Avicii logo on it, and I just remember playing that song all day, and just seeing the organic growth of the song just throughout the entire world. It was really just a rare moment in dance music. This doesn't mean that Avicii doesn't have other Hall of Fame classic songs, but I think Levels has to go in right off the jump. Next is Spaceman by Hardwell. As far as big room songs, this is the introduction for a lot of people to Hardwell, who has been a front run for Big Room House for the past seven years at this point. It was just such a big song at the time, and still to this day, the melody is just amazing. Next is Shrove by Dead Mouse. Now you could probably pick a number of Dead Mouse songs. I think he's had quite a few songs on each of his albums that really opened your eyes to what he could do as a musician and producer. A lot of people really fell in love and understood the magic of Dead Mouse with Strobe, and it definitely today evokes that strong nostalgic property. You can't really argue too much against Strobe. It's a pretty amazing record. Number four is Gecko by Oliver Heldens. As far as the sort of viral deep house fever that happened in 2014, I don't think anything encapsulates it quite like this song. It's still a completely functional club track today. You could maybe make a case for like a Chami song or something like that, but as far as an era of deep house that came in that time, there's no better song than Gecko by Oliver Heldens. Number five is Genesis by Justice. Just that super loud and aggressive sound that they had. I can't think of a better song than Genesis as far as intro to them, but then also the album that's on Cross, which is a super highly regarded album by just about the entire community. And I think it's a great jumping off point for newbies to really get into early 2000s electronic music. Number six is Greyhound. <laughs> Greyhound in particular is such a great introduction into that Swedish house sound and to the album that it's on. And then also just has that kick-ass music video with the dogs running around. It's just so iconic. I can definitely make a case for other Swedish house mafia songs and songs by the individual members, but I'm gonna have to go with Greyhound on this one. Number eight is Mammoth by Dimitri Vegas, like Mike and Mogai. While I do think Spaceman was a huge defining moment for Hardwell, I think Mammoth was a defining moment for Big Room and just the peak of 2013 EDM. When I think of Tomorrowland, when I think of Ultra Music Festival, when I think of all these giant spectacles that electronic dance music has, Mammoth is the soundtrack to that. It's just a gigantic song. I think even if you're not a huge Big Room House fan, you have to respect it. It's just a huge anthem, a huge banger, and is definitely just one of those unforgettable songs from that era. Number eight is Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites by Skrillex. Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites kind of takes the cake where it's a defining song for Skrillex's career, a pretty defining song for dubstep, and it was a pretty interesting idea at the time to have the contrasting hard dubstep sounds and then the melodic interludes. Even though every dubstep song had it, he just made it really clear off the jump, very recognizable, made a lot of people that were new to dubstep really understand why it was so cool and interesting. Yeah! Number nine is Core by R.L. Grime. Core is just core. I think a lot of people remember the first time they hear it dropped either live or they see a crazy video online of it playing. It is just one of the most effective trap songs of all time. And people literally celebrate the release of Core every year. Defining moment for trap and a defining moment for R.L. Grime as well. Lastly, number 10 is Internet Friends by Knife Party. This song in particular was just a defining song for Electro House. Just mad iconic, used in so many different mashups and remixes and it's almost like a cool local term within the community. You block my Facebook, now you're gonna die. And I think it's somewhat unlikely what Knife Party's move is next, so I just think we should cement them in with what they have right now. So those are my first 10 picks for the EDM Hall of Fame. Comment below what you guys think you should include into a Hall of Fame, because I love the discussion of what 
dance music songs are gonna last the test of time. If you enjoyed the discussion, feel free to like and subscribe. Diplo, I'm sorry you didn't get in the Hall of Fame. Maybe next time. Yeah.